So, back this week uh, with the JK. Uh, that just fell. Um, and I found something I'm going to do. Um, uh, the interior is not in it. The cage is mounted. I'm still working on finishing the interior. I have the bottom of it painted. It's sitting right here. Um, I painted the bottom of it. Um, and that's all I did. Uh, I actually pulled all the stickers off also. So I'm getting ready to paint the top. But I want to paint the top a different color. Um, so I want to go. I don't want to go black. Because I think black would be too dark. So I want to go. I think a gray. But maybe black. In, in the center of the seats, like a two-tone. So I'm still deciding that, so I don't have that in. Like I said, the roll cage is mounted. Um, the only other thing I did is peel all the stickers off the windows. The windows are scratched and stuff, but they're all cleaned up. Um, I left the trim on there as best I could. Um, so hopefully you can see in there better. But uh, yeah, this week, uh, the roll cage from the old JK has mounts for a light bar on it. So, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I was looking for a light bar, um, and I found this, this, which probably everybody knows about, but, um, I grabbed these RC four-wheel drive. Um, they're for the axial Jeep Rubicon. Um, they're mounts. So, the hardest part of this is probably going to be getting the mount, this mount to fit, um, and screwing it in. But, uh, these are, are they... I don't know what they are, but they're metal. Um, but then I was able to find this Axial kit, and it is a light bar kit, universal rigid light bar set. Um, it's pretty cool. I opened it already to see what size uh, LEDs it took. So um, it has multiple light bars on it. So it has. Let me see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight light light bar. So that's six. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's eight. So that's got to be ten. I don't know how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they're both eight. So it's got two eight um, light light bars. It has this four light light bar. Um, it has two like mini spots, little spotlights right here. Um, the only thing is you have to obviously put it together. It's got multiple mounts. It's actually got the mount to fit this truck, but in plastic. Um, this mount right here fits it. This mount actually fits on, holds the light bar and the mini spotlight there. Um, some of these lights fit, I believe they fit the Wraith. Um, different different things, but it's got a bunch of mounts and a bunch of... It's pretty cool. It's like 25 bucks or something like that, but um, most light bars are in the forty to fifty dollar range so I figured I'd build a light bar um, so I picked up some cheap Amazon LEDs um, hope I don't regret it but I'm gonna go with those for now um, I'm gonna try to use this mount I don't know if it's gonna fit because it's got like a, a little bit of an indentation on it but we're gonna open this up and see Ugh. This was the cheapest. They, there's about three that I saw, I think. Three different companies make these. Uh, these were the cheapest. These were like eight bucks, so. And now I can see why, because they're kind of flimsy. But I have a backup with the, with the plastic ones. Um, I know Vanquish makes one, RC four wheel drive, and then somebody else. I forgot who else. So. They'll fit on there. They don't fit perfectly, but they are kind of thin metal. So they're probably, once I screw it on there, it should kind of form it to it. But they're not a perfect fit to the body. So, um, I don't know. I'll have to check these plastic mounts out. I don't really want to run the plastic mounts, but I may have to. Because of the way they're flat. And these are kind of contoured to the truck. These things are super thin. I expect a little bit more metal, but. Alright, so, um, I ended up going with the plastic mount. Here's the reason why. Um, you see how that's kind of flush to the side of the body? And I'm going to show you the other mounts. This is the RC four-wheel drive mount. So when you put it in here, it has this, like, quarter inch. The mount is moved over like a quarter of an inch. I'm trying to see if I can get it. So none of the light bars fit 
in between here um, with both of these on. So um, the long one's too long and the next one down is just a little too short. So I end up going with the plastic one. I think it'll be fine. So this is how I did the mount. Um, the body, the cage mount falls kind of in between these two dots right here. Um, so I just kind of eyeballed it. Kind of went for it. Let me see. If I'm close. Yep, pretty close. So that's how I did it. Um, and then I mounted it in the bottom hole and did the same thing on the top. So. All right. So once I get, I tighten that one in. And then uh, I just kind of eyeball it again. Should be close because it's made to fit that cage. I have to go back a little bit, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, stab it, and I'll ream it out if I have to go bigger. Let me see how close I am. And then that's it. That's how I got the holes. And I'll just ream that one out and screw it in. The first part of this video was filmed like two weeks ago, um, two weeks before you saw this one. Uh, it was supposed to be out last Friday. Um, as I told you, I bought these this LED light kit, and then I bought some Amazon LEDs. Um, I proceeded to wire them up. Um, I usually buy LEDs from a certain company, and I bought Amazon ones. The LEDs seem to be fine. The issue I was having was the wire on the LEDs was garbage. It was so thin, it was just terrible. Um, when I tried to strip it, it would either pull the sheathing completely off and I'd have exposed wire, or it would break. And it just kept getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Anyway, I got them all wired in there, and um, they looked terrible. There was a big clump of wires. I had all these, um, what you call it, shrink tube on it, trying to clean it up, trying to get it nice and tight in there. And it was absolutely just terrible. So at the end of the video, I filmed the end of the video, lit, lit it up, plugged it in, all the lights came on, showing it off, one of the LEDs goes out. Um, the wire actually broke off the end of the LED. Like I said, the LEDs worked fine, it was the wire on them. So I was so frustrated with them at that point, I didn't release the video and I had to come up with something else to light this light bar. Um, so what I did is I found something that I'm hoping is going to work, so we're going to try it this week. So if you're seeing this video, that means it worked. So I picked up this uh, super thin LED light bar. And what I'm going to do is fit it into here. Um, if it does work, I'm going to see if I can get two into here. Because um, these are uh, easier to work, uh, work with. Obviously, I'll just have one set of wires coming out instead of eight set of wires. So um, like I said... Uh, Hopefully, I'm going to try to fit two in here. If not, I think this is going to be bright enough. The good thing about this is, this is from the company that I usually buy LEDs from. Um, this is actually trimmable. You can cut this. Um, it is waterproof. Um, but you can cut it every third set of lights. So every three lights, you can cut this and trim it. So I'm thinking if I cut off this end, well, cut off three, and then trim this down, it should fit in there completely. And I'll just have one set of wires coming out. And since it is waterproof, I don't need to fill the holes in behind here or anything like that. And it should work. And, like I said, there'll be one set of wires coming out. What I should have done in the first place is bought LEDs from where I buy them from. But I didn't, so that's where we're at. All right, so I was able to um, get it on there, uh, get it all mounted in there, much cleaner. Said only two wires running in the roof, um, but it should work. I'm gonna plug this in. I get temporarily set up here. Um, it looks like it need, might need more, maybe another bar in there, but for now it's a good start. So let's see here. I'm gonna run it into the other lights. 
Um, that's how I'm going to run the whole setup. But so there it is. See how it kind of like doesn't take up the whole light. But um, like I said, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna attempt to get another one in there. But this is adjustable, so it moves a little bit, so I can always turn it down. But definitely pretty bright. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the way it looks. Um, definitely happy with the way it looks. Probably could use another row of those in there. Maybe I'll get another row, fill it up, but it's much cleaner than it was. And I still got spots where I can add other lights if I choose to, but I'm definitely liking it. Oh, thanks for checking this out. Um, I don't know. We'll make a video next week. I need to get the interior mounted up completely. So maybe I'll do a video on that. Get it all done. Put back together. Um, but I don't know. Come back next week and find out.